Hi, third and fourth grade friends. I'm happy to be back today. All right, today we're gonna talk about a new sound, and then also we're gonna talk about a new text feature. So let's get started, here we go. All right, today we're gonna talk about the sound able. A-B-L-E says able. And this suffix means able to blank. It means you're able to do something, or it's able to be that. So look right here. Uh, ooh, this is a tricky word. Let's use our strategy that we know to break words apart. So first, I'm going to look at my vowels. Where's my vowel? There's one, and there's one. So now, and then, we can figure this out. A veil able, or a veil able. Available. We say available. Available. Very good. And available means that you're able to be available. Okay. This one might be easier to understand. Let's try this one. Breakable. Breakable. Able to what? Yes. Break. Very good. Okay. So remember, A-B-L-E says able. Let's get started. You got this. Here we go. Sound. Word. Repairable. It's able to be repaired. Next word. Get ready. Sound. Word, changeable. Yes, changeable. It's able to change. Next word. Ooh, this one has a prefix too, doesn't it? We know that P-R-E, so I'm going to circle that because that's my surf. Excuse me, my prefix, and then I'm going to underline me E. Preventable. Preventable. That means that it's able to be prevented. Very good. You guys are on fire today. Get ready. Sound. Word, believable, very good, it's able to be, you're able to believe it. Next word, get ready, sound, word, yes, capable. Get ready, sound, word, comfortable. Get ready, sound, word, dependable. Get ready, sound, word, yes, avoidable, very good. And A-B-L-E, it's able to blank. You're able to do that. A-B-L-E says able. What does A-B-L-E say? It says able. Yes, able. Very good job, friends. Now, yesterday we talked about some things, and this week we've been kind of talking about text features. Well, today we're going to talk about what is a heading. A heading introduces a topic in a text. It helps the reader to locate the main ideas of that text. And we've talked about main ideas. Remember what that means? Okay, very good. So here I have a sample of a story for you. It's just a short little story. It says, ants, ants, ants live all over the world. Ants are social insects. They have three body parts. Now, in this little passage that I wrote, where would be my heading? What is going to tell me the topic and what's going to help me understand the main idea of this passage? You're right. It's going to be right here, isn't it? This is going to be my heading because one, it's above the paragraph right here and it's introducing the topic. So if I see this heading ants, ants, I know that all of the next paragraph is going to be about ants. In this case, it is. It tells us that ants live all over the world. They are social insects, and they have three body parts. And does it tell us the main idea? Remember the main idea? It tells us what the story is mostly about. Is this passage mostly about ants? You're right, it is. So right here would be an example of a heading. Now, a headings, sometimes they can be in bold. Sometimes they can be written like what we have. But usually, some they might be on the top of the paragraph or the section to let us know what the main idea is. So today, friends, I challenge you when you're reading, you're at least 20 minutes, hopefully, to see, can you find any headings in your book today? All right, friends, until we meet tomorrow. Bye.